Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to MG Communities Brokerage. Uh, my name is Mohammed, and this video I'm going to show you how to fill out an application for immigration, visa, and alien registration. So it's quite simple. Let's. Uh, I'm going to help you read it with you guys. Uh, it's the instructions: complete one copy, complete one copy of this form for yourself and each member of your family, regardless of age and who will immigrate with you. Please print your type your name. Answer all the questions. Make sure that. That are not applicable with NA, that's what you have to put down. If there is insufficient room on this form, answer on a separate sheet using the same number on that appears in the form and attach any additional sheets to this form. So basically, as is self explanatory, this is called a DS 230 Part 1. Obviously, that's the form of this name. There, there's four parts of this. So let's get started. So you put the family name over here as well. You type the family name, you put the first name, middle name. Other names used in this absence, if not, is definitely not applicable. Full name in the na uh, native alphabet, that's what you put over here. The date of birth, age, place of birth, city, province, and country. Nationality, gender, male or female. Martial status, single, married, widow, whatever it is, obviously you put it down. Uh, permanent address in the United States where you intend to live. That's what the address should be, telephone number. Address in the United States where you want your permanent resident card to be mailed. It should be the same exact thing. Uh, your present occupation, uh, present address, obviously, again, where you are. If you're in India, that's what your present address is. That's what you have to put down. Name of spouse, uh, maiden or family name. Again, if you have the, uh, uh, the, the spouse information, you put it down. Father's family name, first name, middle name, father's date of birth, place of birth, current address, if deceased. If, 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 if let's say, by any chance, uh, the father's passed away, somebody passed away, that's what you down. Same thing with the mother, if deceased, you put, put the, the year of death. Um, list the names and date and place of birth and addresses of all children so let's say for example if you're applying for your mother in a different country and she you are we have siblings you have to put down the information over here uh, list below all your places that have lived in the past six months date reaching if you lived in one place obviously that should be easy if you live in multiple all well, you gotta put down the multiple information uh, persons uh, claimed in uh, in 14 and 19 will all company with the United States now a uh, person's name in 14 and 19 will follow you in the United States and this now again list below all employment in the last 10 years you put that information down as well list below all education student lieutenant again you put that information over here for example education location from and to course of study and degree of diploma if you have one language spoken to uh, uh, read or read here's the information over here professional association with you belong to if you belong to association put it down Previous military experience, yes or no? If yes, you put down the information over here, such as branch and rank and obviously military special occupation. List state of all previous visits to residents in the United States. If you've been over here, then again, you put down the information over here as well. Again, this is the third part. Uh, this form, again, it constitutes the complete African for Michigan visa and alien registration. Same thing, family name, first and middle name, other user and alias, full name and native alphabet. Uh, then the question is yes or no over here. Uh, for example, an alien who has communicated disease, a public health signal who has failed to present documentation of having receiving vaccination by the United States law or has had a physical mental that poses a likely to have threat to the United States who is a drug abuser addict, yes or no. Again, you're going to fill, uh, I'm not going to read all through this, it's too much information to read. Like, for example, let's do a short version. An alien who is likely to become public charge, uh, yes or no. Again, you fill this part out uh, with the yes or no's. Then you go to the next page, this is the last page of this form. Again, with a yes or no question, such as this one, is a get, you know, no question to these. Have you ever been charged, arrested, or committed to any military offense? No. Have you ever been refused admission to the United States for port, uh, uh, port of entry? No. Have you ever been applied for social security number? Yes. Then if you put that information down, if no, then obviously it's no. Uh, again, you, you said, you, if you, if you put yes or no over here as well. It's yes, should be yes over here. I claim to be, <coughs> oh, well, you leave this blank, obviously, say do not write below the line. The consular officer will assist you in answering item number 35. Uh, do not sign this form until instructed to do that by consumer officer. So basically, you leave it as is, you don't sign anything. So basically, that's it. That's how you fill out a D DS-230 Part 2 form. Um, <coughs> basically, that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions or common concern, guys, you can comment, like, subscribe to my videos. Uh, check out my channel. I have other educational informational videos as well. Uh, this is was the form where a lot of people have a, a hard time, uh, you know, basically filling it out. That's why I had this video to show you guys how to do it. I hopefully explained to you the best of my knowledge 
and if anything that I miss I apologize in advance I did that to the best of my knowledge of how to fill out this form um, again if you have any other questions comment concern please comment like subscribe to my videos I'll be having more educational informational videos coming up thank you again for watching this short video and I hope you guys enjoyed it